Hi everyone, today's headlines. CFMG pulls up NSE and GBR in Congo over dead threat. Eastern Nagaland People's Organization to hold consultative meeting on August 5 to 6. Nagaland traders condemn dead threat to contractor extend support to AYO. Nagaland government condemns dead threat to contractor files FIR against NSE and GPR and Congo. News in details. CFMG pulls up NSE and GPR and Congo over dead threat. Chairman of the Ceasefire Monitoring Group CFMG, Ceasefire Supervisory Board CFSB, Lieutenant General Richard Amarjit Singh Bedi said on Saturday that his office has taken suo moto cognizance of the imperlioi involving the NSE and GPR and Congo Group. Though the office did not receive a complaint on the issue, suo moto cognizance has been taken based on the media reports and comments conveyed the office on the subject. He said in his maiden address to the media from Nagaland after assuming the chairman post in September 2020 at his office in the state guest house Koima. Eastern Nagaland People's Organization to hold consultative meeting on August 5 to 6. The Eastern Nagaland People's Organization will be holding a joint consultative and coordination meeting with its tribal and friendal organization and central executive council on August 5 and 6 in Tunsa. The ENPO presidential meeting scheduled on August 5 is expected to deliberate and resolve various confusion that have been aired within Eastern Nagaland. The status of the friendly Nagaland territory and way forward maintenance of strict official communication with the Government of India, streamlining of Chen Moho resolution are some of the meeting agenda to be taken up at the meeting. Nagaland traders condemn death threat to contractor extend support to AYO. The Confederation of Nagaland Chamber of Commerce and Industry has condemned the capital punishment allegedly issued against K. Rahlu, proprietor of MSKKB Rahlu by the NSE and GPR and Congo Group. The Naga National Movement belongs to every Naga and every Naga is a stockholder and contributor in various capacities and issuing capital punishment due to inability to pay the monetary demands defies all logic of Naga National Movement and its goal. Rather, it is a smear on a noble political aspiration of the Naga people, read the press release. Nagaland government condemns death threat to contractor, files FIR against NSE and GPR in Congo. Nagaland government has condemned the recent sequence of events involving the NSE and GPR in Congo, which issued a death threat to K. Rahulu, proprietor of MSKKB Rahulu. In a press release, the deputy CMO said that the incident first came to light when a press conference was called by the Angami Youth Organization. Subsequently, Nagaland police registered an FIR under appropriate section of law, it stated. That's all for now to guess the series, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.